Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Ryan, and I'm here with Notes and Numbers to present on how best to set up Zoom for music lessons. Um, there's a couple things we'll want to keep in mind. Uh, on the one hand, Zoom is really built for speech, not music. So a lot of what we're going to be disabling or doing is kind of working against what they tried to do in the first place, but that's okay. Uh, other than that, this is going to be a very like participant-focused video, so it's really more on setting up your guests or your students. Uh, if you're hosting meetings, there's a little more to deal with, and I'll deal with that in a later video. Uh, if you do like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'll be putting up other things like it as we go, along with performances and what have you. Uh, and if you are interested in lessons or anything like that, by all means, come find me at www.notesandnumbers.net. Thanks so much. All right, so what we've got here is my Windows 10 PC. Uh, and it's going to be basically the same as anything running Mac OS, because the real defining feature is they're both full operating systems, as opposed to mobile operating systems. Uh, so although I'm not going to do a Mac video, the biggest change is where I say settings, sometimes it will say system preferences instead for a Mac. But otherwise, the general thrust of it all should be more or less the same. So, um, first things first, we want to make sure we have the Zoom app downloaded, and having that done, we click on it, it brings up our little home screen where you can see how to start a meeting, or how to join a meeting, or where to find what meetings you're already meant to be at. Uh, if you want to, you can click on this little profile icon in the upper right corner, and that'll open this up. Not terribly useful for us, though, if you click on the My Profile part, it'll take you, and you can see what'll show up when you join a meeting, or what your personal meeting ID is, and things like that. Uh, additionally, if you click on the settings button here, it'll actually do the same thing as if you were to click on that little gear there. Uh, but in each case, it'll take us here. Uh, you can see I've skipped past general. Uh, and with video, the only things that we have to do or that I think ought to be done, disable HD and turn off touch my appearance, touch up my appearance. Uh, and the reason for that being, both of those, although nice visually, I believe add to the weight of the signal essentially they add more processing to it and they in some ways sort of degrade audio quality accordingly like anything that gets in the way of our priority optimizing the sound we should probably dispense with unless you have a really excellent internet connection um, whether you do it or not not totally critical but that's my two cents on that uh, moving on to the audio <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is uncheck the automatically adjust volume uh, a lot of that's going to be in an effort to sort of equalize sudden rises and falls in whatever speech patterns or things like that. Uh, but suffice it to say, it gets in the way of us actually having dynamics come through. Uh, so if you want to be able to go from quiet to loud and back again and have that be audible and something that actually translates well, you'll want to have that unclicked. And otherwise, I set it to about three quarters for the volume. Um, past that, I don't enable stereo sound for more or less the same kind of signal load reasoning with the video stuff where it's just it adds much more processing to it um, so unfortunately or for better or worse mono it is uh, now if you click on advanced you'll find that it brings us over to this critically check this box show in meeting option to enable original sound for microphone very important that gives us essentially in meeting access to a raw audio feed or as close as we're going to get uh, past that you'll want to disable suppress persistent background noise and suppress intermittent background noise. Both of those things that are meant to get rid of fridges or fans or planes, but will also get rid of sustained notes or uh, overtone build or any number of other really nice things that we want our music to have. Uh, leave echo cancellation on auto, or if it's not already there, set it to that. Uh, once we're in a meeting, you can see in the upper left-hand corner now, we'll have this option to turn on original sound. Click that, it'll turn into that turn off original sound and all lit up and pretty. Um, within that, as opposed to the mobile version of all this, where you have to do it for each meeting with a, a PC or a Mac OS, um, you can actually set that just the one time, and it should every time you select that mic, turn on original sound for you. Um, but at the very least, you can always look to see if it's lit up blue like that. So that's pretty much it inside of Zoom. There is, again, in the context of this fuller, more comprehensive operating system, a little extra that we need to take care of because that operating system has sort of similar technology often anyway uh, to what Zoom's doing in that it tries to package or envelope your sound 
So if you, for Windows, search sound settings. Uh, for Mac, I think just open up system preferences and click on the sound icon. Uh, but either way, once you've done that, it'll bring up something akin to this. For us, we're looking at our microphone, so we want to go to device properties right near that, the input. Uh, and it'll bring up this pretty sparse and plain menu here. Uh, I think you'll get there faster on a Mac. But for those on the PC like I am, we'll want to go to additional device properties that will bring up this little window. Enhancements is the tab that's of utmost important for us. Um, disable all sound effects. It's again, it's that enveloping, trying to curtail any unnecessary noise, but all of our noise we consider to be pretty necessary. So disable that, and that pretty much sets us. All right. Well, so hopefully that was super helpful and offered a lot of clarity and thank you so much. Uh, it, again, don't forget to subscribe, get access to more stuff as I put more stuff out. Uh, and if you want to find me elsewhere, you can find me at notes numbers at Facebook, you know, at notes and nums at Instagram. Uh, and then of course the website is again, www.notesandnumbers.net. Uh, take care and keep making music.